Well, where to begin? I don't normally do these kinds of videos, but in the case of this game, I felt compelled to do so. I have about 700 hours played on Slay the Spire, with another 400 or so on the iOS version. And whilst I'm not the best player in the world at the game, I feel as though I'm at least competent at it, and competent enough to say that I might have found the next one of these games. This is Slice and Dice. You'll be forgiven if you've never heard of it. Slice and Dice is currently only available on itch.io and on Android, if you're lucky enough to have one of their phones. I don't, sadly, as this would very quickly become my go-to phone game. So, Slice and Dice is a party and turn-based combat RPG, where dice are used to dictate who uses which skill during their turn. Battles start when your party's opponents roll their attacks and select their targets, allowing you to see and react to what the baddies are planning. Once that is over, you roll your dice. You can either lock in your choice or attempt to re-roll. There are a set number of these per turn and could potentially lead defeat into victory, or vice versa. As for the types of skills available, there are many. You can have mana gathering, defensive, offensive, buffing, debuffing, and healing spells, and probably some others that I haven't seen yet. But with five character slots and all these skill options, the combinations available to you in combat is almost limitless, and I've only just started playing a few days ago. The important thing about this game is this, though. This is a game of risk and analysis, and something it very much shares with Slay the Spire. The ability to see your doom and pull off a miraculous escape multiple times in a fight feels very empowering. Which brings me to the main point of this video. Slice and Dice is at 2.0 in terms of where its development is at, meaning that the game already has a lot of depth to it. With 100 hero classes, 61 monsters, 354 items, 18 different game modes, and 300 difficulty modifiers, there's also online leaderboards for you to flex your OP builds on as well, especially when taking on the game's infinite survival loop, Cursed Mode. And that's quite a bit for you to go at already, and I don't think they're done making it either. The thing that Slay the Spire had in spades was its staying power, the idea of one more turn, one more run, if only I had done this differently or I had taken that card instead of this useless one. Slice and Dice has that same energy for me, and I can't stop playing it or thinking about it. Tactics Ogre Reborn is out on Friday and choosing between them is going to be tough. That isn't to say that Slice and Dice is a perfect game, by the way. The obvious issue right now is that whilst it's on Itch and Android, being able to actually play the game can be a problem for some. And whilst it does have sound effects for the dice rolling and the skills in action, it has no music. That's never going to be a problem for me, since I always used to turn off the Slay the Spire music and listen to my 80s rock in the background anyway, but for some, that could be a turn-off. There is an obvious reason that there's no music as of right now, by the way. Slice and Dice was made by two people. The two staff members, Tan and A3UM, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, are the only ones who made this great game, with Tan programming and A3UM the artist of these cool sprites that you can see here. I would imagine some point in the future that will change, given how people are starting to notice the game, which should hopefully lead to some money in their pockets. If you're unconvinced, Slice and Dice have a free demo available on Itch and Android. I'll put links to both of those in the description. And the game costs $7 as of right now, which for a game you could potentially play for hundreds of hours is money well spent in my opinion. Don't miss out on this. If you enjoyed Slay the Spire, Monster Train, or any of those card-based games and you're looking for the next thing, this is it. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. I do lots of RPG stuff on this channel, which is going to be busy in the upcoming months with stuff like Tactics Ogre Reborn, Front Mission, and Midnight Suns all around the corner. But for now, that's it, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.